Now that we're alone, let me cut to the heart of the matter. You are skilled in manipulating the elements, and not just a single element, but multiple. Is that correct? Paimon knew that you were hinting at something from the moment we met! You've known all along! That's right. If the other contenders were to catch wind of your elemental abilities, let's just say it would cause some unwanted misunderstandings. If I'm not mistaken, you share these considerations given your reluctance to use elemental skills even in the heat of a match. <laughs> when I talk about that which I see or hear in you, this is not poetic symbolism at play. I mean these things in the truest sense possible. Since a young age, I have been attuned to the tidings of nature. I hear the breath of the wind and the whispers of the leaves. It is things of this nature that I also hear from within you. Nothing more. As crazy as all that sounds, somehow Paimon still believes you. My humble abilities are negligible compared to your incredible feats. To think a human could wield the elements without a vision. And not to mention your incredibly complex scent, like that of some mysterious being. Hey, stop evaluating us based on our smell! It's weird! Could you perchance enlighten me as to how you managed to obtain your combined elemental abilities? Hmm. Extraordinary. So then, might I be so bold as to inquire how exactly it is that you learned to channel elemental energy and even wield it in combat. Ah, it's nothing really. Paimon just told him whatever came to mind. It's been a long journey, and many things have happened along the way. Somehow, he just naturally learned to use the elements to it all. Honestly, even Paimon doesn't understand how it all works. Perhaps such unfathomable things are the essence of the gods and the visions they grant. However, I still wish to have the honor of seeing how you wield the elements. Perhaps it may yet reveal something to me. Of course, I too shall share with you all that I've learned. That will make it a fair exchange. Now then, let's test your skills, shall we? Your skills in battle are truly beyond reproach. Even with your opponent's speed, he shouldn't be able to overwhelm you. Your opponent is skilled at controlling his breathing and maintaining balance, which enables him to execute moves that many would find impossible. He relies entirely on the element of surprise to defeat his opponents. In other words, as long as you remain mindful of his ability to detect weak points, then his attack should pose no threat to you. Please, save your thanks. If anything, I should be thanking you for the opportunity to witness your command of the elements that defies all known principles. The world is a truly mysterious place, it seems, and one will always encounter that which is still unknown. You seem kind of obsessed with visions, but don't you already have your own? Why are you so intent on exploring the connection between visions and the elements? 
I desire to know what meaning visions have to the gods, and what influences the gods' decision to grant humans these visions. My apologies. You must be completely in the dark regarding such matters. For allowing me the honor of witnessing your mystical ways, I am willing to answer any questions you may have regarding Inazuma. So that's what you're curious about? <laughs> then allow me to tell you more. As you well know, a vision hunt decree is currently underway in Inazuma. Visions are a gift bestowed by the Divine. People that have accepted this gift are now having their visions confiscated inexplicably. Sometimes in circumstances that leave their original recipients dead. In the outset, supposing each of the seven Archons had their criteria for granting visions to living beings, then does the current Electro Archon now doubt these criteria, or even the act in and of itself? Not to mention, with no new Electrovisions having been granted for such a long time, it would seem that we can infer something of the Raiden Shogun's feelings on the matter. She sounds less like an Archon and more like a tyrant. As far as I know, she is an Archon that pursues eternity. She will relentlessly carry out her will with no regard to what others may think or feel. Liyue's contracts are meant to benefit all who reside within Liyue. But what does Inazuma's pursuit of eternity bring to its people? It goes without saying that the people locked within Inazuma do not fare well these days. Sounds a lot like something the god you encountered in the beginning would do. Oh? Have you encountered the Electro Archon before? With time... We will change, but the Shogun will remain the same. If you wish to find her, she will forever be there. There will come a day when I too shall wish to understand the answers to eternity from her. Ah, the time for your match is approaching. Oh, right! We got so distracted talking about Inazuma that Paimon forgot all about the tournament! If you have no other matters to attend to, then we can return together. Very well. Just be sure to not be late for the match. Why isn't he here yet? Never mind. We can start by making your entrance first. Everyone, listen up! Your attention, please! We've reached the climax of the Crux Clash! This is the final match! We've seen many exciting battles today, and now, at long last, the two finalists have emerged! Now, I'd like to introduce our first combatant. Though few have seen him, his reputation knows no bounds. He strikes fear into the heart of Osile, and the mere mention of his name causes even the Fatui Harbingers to turn pale in the face. Introducing Liu's Traveling Hero! Wow! <sighs> I've been waiting for this moment! I'm sure everyone witnessed his thrilling match in the semifinals. But today's final round will surely take things up a notch. As for our other combatant, uh, he still hasn't arrived. Oh, come on, what could be taking him so long? You can't just forfeit for not showing up like in previous rounds. <laughs> this is the finals. Apologies, everyone just sit tight. We've got no other choice. 
If he doesn't show up, we'll just have to postpone the match. Wait a moment. Something doesn't seem right about this. Captain Beto, perhaps we should check on the prize. Traveler, come with us. Let me see. It's gone, all right. The vision is missing. Huh? Did somebody steal it? Who would dare do such a thing in broad daylight? We don't know when it was taken exactly. <laughs> I never thought that someone here would have the guts to cross Captain Beto. No need to worry. Even the craftiest sleight of hand does not escape nature's watchful gaze. Hmm... The culprit has only acted recently. They will not have gotten far. The vision was the prize that I had offered, and it was my responsibility to look after it. I will be certain to get it back. Well, if you insist, I'll leave the matter to you then. I'll stay here and try to offer some explanation to all the spectators that came to see the match. If you would, please come with me. Um, but we're on an island. Where could he have possibly run to? Come with me. I can sense the winds are coming. Huh? A wind current? The winds have come at an opportune moment. Let's seize this chance. Ride the winds upward. From there we can continue our search for clues. moment it was stolen. Well, then why didn't you stop him? You'll see, shortly. You can't run from dead. The winds are guiding us forward. The culprit is on the opposite shore now. You can hear that too? What does it sound like? Hmm. <laughs> Hubris. This way. Follow me. There may be an ambush waiting for us up ahead, but I trust that you are well prepared for such a scenario. They're here! Get them! Treasure hoarders, just as I expected. In which case, please stand back. with me? How is that possible? I had even prepared a boat to ensure a quick getaway, and still you caught up to me! No boat could ever match the speed of the wind. The wind? What are you talking about? Oh, I get it. Your vision. Drat! If I only had a vision! Or, if I could activate this one... Then you'd never be able to catch me! This has nothing to do with visions. You may be skilled at vanishing from a crowd, but it seems you know precious little about how to conceal yourself from nature's gaze. Additionally, your chosen escape route was flawed for reasons that are too numerous to go into, and on top of that, I could hear your boasting and proud laughter in the wind as I was pursuing you. In other words, you failed to meet any of the basic criteria for a grand heist. Namely, speed, stealth, and style. You... you... But most disappointing of all, 
is the state of the vision in your hand. It appears that the vision doesn't respond to human desire indiscriminately. Fine, fine. I admit it. I've had my eyes on this vision for quite some time now. I decided to register after hearing that this fighting contest was full of a bunch of lousy fighters. I fought my way to the finals and... Aha! So you were supposed to be our opponent! I'd intended to win the contest through skill alone all along, but then you showed up. After watching the semifinals, I knew that I didn't stand a chance. But I wasn't about to give up on the vision so easily after coming all this way. Since there was no use in trying to face you in the match, I decided to put my skills to good use while everyone's attention was on you and Beto. I was convinced I prepared thoroughly for my escape, but somehow you still managed to catch up to me.